In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1 on your A4 device like an iPhone 4. You can see I'm running iOS 6 right here, so just to confirm that. Now, a lot of people don't like iOS 6 because, well, there's Mapgate and there's no untethered jailbreak thus far for iOS 6. So if you have one of the older devices like an iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4th generation, then you can do this if you have your SHSH blob saved. Now I'm just going to put my device into DFU mode, hold home and power for 10 seconds, release power, continue holding home for 10 additional seconds. The screen should remain black like this. And then we'll head over to our computer and we'll load up red snow but first of all you're going to see where itunes may detect your device uh, that's cool just hit ok on that open up red snow the latest version you should see where it detects your iphone in dfu mode or whatever other device you have hooked up you want to go to extras and then select shsh blobs and then you should see stitch at the very bottom. Now, as you can see here, I have my SHSH blob for iOS 5.1.1. This is for my iPhone 4. So just keep that in mind. You will need your SHSH blob. If you don't have it locally on your computer, that's okay. You can get it from Cydia if you have it stored on Cydia, which hopefully you do. If you don't, obviously you cannot downgrade. Now you also need your iOS 5.1.1 firmware file for your device, so have that as well. So just have your SHSH blob if you have that locally and also your firmware file in the same folder. Head over to Red Snow again, click on Stitch like we said earlier, and then you can select your IPSW here. So go ahead and select that. Here is the IPSW, the firmware file for 5.1.1. Select that. It should recognize it tell you what it is, the build for iPhone 3 comma 1. And now you want to select local because I have my blob saved locally. If you don't, you can select Cydia and it'll try to pull it from Cydia. So you have some options there. So now what it's doing is it's combining the two to create one new IPSW, a custom IPSW that stitches your blob together with the firmware file so that you can actually use this to restore to an older firmware even though Apple is no longer longer signing iOS 5.1.1 which is really cool so here is the blob stitching confirmation that it's complete click OK and there is your new firmware file you can see that the number I've actually zeroed that out just from privacy concerns on my part but you'll have your ECID as a prefix on the new firmware file now the other two files you can just leave them there for now but this new one is what we really want to concentrate on so just don't worry about the other two for now because they don't really play any more parts in this process now go back to red snow click extras and then click pwned DFU this is very important if you don't do this then you will get a 1600 error in iTunes when you try to restore with this custom firmware so now you should see your device should be in Pwn DFU mode, your screen should just stay black on the device so you're not going to notice any difference on the actual device. Now open up iTunes, hold option, click restore, select the new firmware file, make sure you select the new firmware, the one that was just created with the ECID number in front, and then click OK. It'll prepare your iPhone for restore. This looks just like a normal restore, so if you've ever restored your iPhone before, you know exactly what to expect. You're going to see the Apple logo pop up on your screen, you're going to see the little loading bar there, and I've sped this up a lot just to get through this because this is very time consuming. It takes a while to restore an iPhone or an iPod Touch for that matter. So just wait until that loading bar goes all the way across. You'll see this and then followed by a little error message in iTunes. So I'm gonna show you that error message. It's gonna be like a negative one error. It says the iPhone, iPhone could not be restored. An unknown error occurred, negative one. Don't worry about that. You're gonna see your, your device look like this, connect to iTunes. Don't sweat it, I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. The first thing you wanna do is just close out of iTunes, just click OK here, close that out. Open up Red Snow, click Extras, and then click Recovery Fix. You should see this screen right here. Now what you wanna do is place your device back in a DFU mode. You know, grab your device, hold the home button and the power button at the same time for 10 seconds. After that 10 seconds is up, release the power button, continue holding home, and then you should see that black screen just stay there sort of like this here. So I'm gonna continue holding home for a few more seconds. And once those seconds are up, release the home button. And then on your screen, you should see red snow begin to take off, exploiting with lime rain. It'll automatically kick off and go ahead and fix that recovery issue that it had there. So just give it a few seconds. This will take a while again. I've sped this up a little bit just to speed it up for you guys so you don't sit here all day trying to figure this out. So. Now it's showing this downloading jailbreak data. That's a very good sign. You sh should see the little matrix mode. It looks like you're actually jailbreaking your device, but you're not. It's actually just kicking you out of that stupid recovery mode and fixing your problems so that we can boot up 
sort of like this. That is iOS 5, ladies and gentlemen. We just downgraded our iPhone 4 from iOS 6 back down to iOS 5, just like that. And it's super easy. Red Snow plays an integral role in this, so just follow along step by step. It's super easy. You can't mess up if you follow the steps just like that. So hopefully this was able to help you out. I'm going to go ahead and just finish setting up the device here. Disable location services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and set up my network right now. All right. That's set up. Activating. Set up as a new iPhone. Skip this step. Okay. Agree. Agree. Don't send. Next. Start using iPhone. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, back on iOS 5.1.1, so feel free to use Google Maps if you want to do that, if you hate the new Maps app. But just to prove it to you, general, about, bam, 5.1.1. Hope this was able to help you out, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you check out iDownloadBlog for more details. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.